Hello guys, September 23, the Hindu editorial. So please make sure you are watching every day because it's a continuation. Many things we have discussed like Abraham Accords, I2U2 and the continuation of that, the West Asia policy of USA and what are the benefits of India that is in detail going to be discussed today. And also the census, then there is a mediation bill which got passed in Lok Sabha, Rajya Sabha and the president also has given the assent on September 15th. So that has become an act now. So many provisions are there directly from the PRS website. We will read it together because if you read it alone, it will be looking very lengthy. So I will try to is the job for you okay and there are little technical video and audio difficulties today so i hope at least audio will be uh, clear for you but the video may get uh, paused in between okay so just focus on the uh, slides and the ppts which we are showing the content we will make sure that you get it uh, thoroughly okay so here uh, the 2025 test series okay 2025 test series is a 575 day timetable plan which we are planning and it will have prelims plus mains integration certain elements of video classes also will be there which for the very first time we are introducing so that is uh, something bigger than 2024 batch we'll announce it soon you have to be on my whatsapp for all the updates okay update mean uh, the messages which we sent so that message will be mostly video links and that links you have to click and watch so if you are ready to watch daily videos and learn and uh, become a topper this year itself you can whatsapp us and then join the group as well okay else if you are not simply uh, uh, interested and simply coming here for uh, having a membership in this thing then don't come okay only for studies you can come in sse CHL, CHSL exam is there, same like the combined graduate exam, the combined higher secondary level exam is there, there about Lord Mayo, okay, Lord Mayo one question came, why I am showing you this because we are discussing census today, the first census in 1872 was conducted by Lord Mayo and uh, his assassination in 1872 is uh, something which the SSC people decided to ask, okay, so where was he assassinated, the Port Blair, Kolkata, Delhi or Diu, okay, so here, Lord Mayo was the Governor General of India from 1869 and till 19, 1872 when he was killed. Okay, he was assassinated in Port Blair Andaman and by a Afghani a convict that is Sher Ali Afridi. Okay, it's actually related to the Wahhabi trials and all which inspector and classes we have taken after the uh, first war of independence 1857. So he was convicted there, he sneaked out of the prison and then he stabbed this person twice. Okay, in this particular Mount Harriet National Park area and then uh, he died. Okay. So, he was again given life imprisonment and then uh, penal settlement in Andaman Islands. So, important things about Lord Mayo is uh, Rajkot College he set up, the Mayo College he set up, statistical survey, then Department of Agriculture and Commerce, straight railways. So, today like this, lot of factual things I will teach you. Make sure that if you need, you make notes or uh, memorize it or however you want, you can study this. And uh, this and all in my test series students, you will be getting certain MCQs and also these things will be covered automatically or anyway, editorial I hope you are watching daily. Okay. So, this is about the uh, question. So, the first article about census we will discuss. You know the 1881 onwards. Okay, so 1872 the first census happened but 10 year process uh, happened from 1881. Okay, 1881, 1891 like that every 10 years it happens. Latest being on uh, 2011. Okay, 2011. The 2021 census because of COVID it got postponed and now the center is telling Amit Shah told that uh, after the general election only we will be able to do because it takes almost 10-11 uh, uh, months for conducting the election, uh, so conducting the census and now we don't have the uh, time and the structure and all ready to do that. Okay, because this time for for the very first time we are going to do digital census digital census meaning a tab will be used i think and then along with the noting down in the books and this thing digital uh, thing also will be there and also a self enumeration will be there which will uh, allow you to enter your Aadhaar card details and all and give basic details and then again other teachers and other people and all will come, government officials will come and they will collect the details. Okay, so online and offline mode both will be there and normally 7, 11 months it takes but with the technology we will bring down the uh, time. Okay, and also we have the registration of birth and death amendment act that will help us have all the databases of uh, ration card, passport, everything in a one single place. Okay, so this will uh, like without human interference you can change many things also like when a person dies your name can be removed from the uh, this thing, named from the uh, remove from the electoral uh, role okay and also uh, electoral role when you are 18 years automatically it should get added right that also automatically will happen which till now was not there and all the government schemes everything the beneficiaries will legal beneficiaries will get and no bogus things will happen also the author is telling the government should take the states and other parties in confidence and not just dictate terms okay everybody should be involved while doing the census also you know the 33 percentage woman parliament reservation that is now passed uh, in uh, Lok Sabha and Rajya Sabha that also it's not like immediately will happen because there is something called delimitation okay delimitation exercise that is actually 
something where you decide like how many pop uh, graph first you have to do census so when you do you will get population after you get population now you have to divide that population into different different constituencies then only you can decide okay here one mp here one mp here like mp and mla that's how you uh, decide okay so that constituency thing can be done through delimitation for that you need the census so the bjp told anyway we will do it later because now the current delimitation is frozen till 2026 okay the current terms is till 2026 so let's finish that after that we will do the census then we will do the delimitation and then we will 2029 is the next election because 2024 is now general election 2029 next election women will get 33 percentage reservation okay so this is as per the terms currently prescribed they are going to do so we discuss the census article in detail next we will discuss the west asia in detail and the dispute resolution this is the lengthiest article we will discuss at the last okay here it is ground zero which is not required and here it is the uss internal politics like joe biden and uh, who is the next president who will become what are the issues between us uh, president and the congress members such things are there in the uh, uh, article so we will not discuss this particular one we will discuss west asia and the other one okay now again current affairs today also many people came and enrolled don't miss out the offers because this uh, pack one is going to give you 12 months current affairs with mcqs and explanations and also the combo pack 2 and 3 where like 3 years and 2 years this is again the best sellers many people want it because it helps in all the exams not only upsc if it's ssc whether it is state exams any exams it will help you so please come and whatsapp us and make sure you join our group also there every day video updates are being given anyway if you are following the youtube channel then you don't have to worry about these groups and all because you anyway watch all my videos and you will get all the knowledge okay free of cost so now whatsapp this number if you want and then we will discuss the first article west asia most important is the map so if you see here always when we tell west asia we think only about iran iraq saudi and all there are many other countries like syria is there there is jordan there is israel there is lebanon cyprus cyprus is a very a tiny island here okay like there armenia azerbaijan georgia many things are there now about the seas this side of turkey what it is this side of turkey and here it is actually mediterranean sea about turkey what it is about turkey is black sea about iran what it is here this is caspian sea okay this is actually iran okay don't think it is kuwait kuwait is actually the tiny small blue one this is kuwait okay then oman here oman is there and the continuation of oman little bit is here also here in dubai strip okay uae this green is uae then yemen then here saudi then that jordan israel everything is there okay then again here there will be big africa right so here there is red sea here there is gulf of aden here arabian sea okay here gulf of oman here persian gulf now one thing you have to see is here there is a water body here there is a water body so there will be a connecting water body that connecting water body is called strait and that strait ne between persian gulf and the uh, gulf of oman is called hormos strait okay this strait is called hormos strait same like that here you see red sea here you see gulf of aden so here there is a strait here there is a strait a small water body connecting the two seas so that is called babel mandab strait okay b a b bab a l babel mandab okay so it's a arabic term kind of thing okay bab al mandab okay so that is the two straits and these are the seas and now the bordering countries of black sea is asked by upsc bordering countries of caspian is asked by upsc next they will ask the bordering countries of persian gulf or the red sea or the mediterranean so you have to know all the countries okay in multiple sessions we have taught all, all of these please try to study okay don't think these are very silly things west asia is the center of debate nowadays and so sent, uh, west asia and africa many questions in prelims will come okay now same like we have sar can bimstek and all in our uh, south asian area in west asia also they have a group which is called the gcc group okay so gcc question already came in 2016 which of the following is not a member of gcc okay so here iran itself is not a member the first one is not a member okay the trick is cubox qatar uae bahrain oman kuwait and saudi arabia cubox so i is not there iran is not there this is the group started in 1981 it hold a summit every single year all of them are monarchies monarchy means king or queen kind of concept is there they have that sheikh which they have sheikh royal sheikh will be there okay like burj khalifa khalifa which they call khalifa is actually the sheikh of abu dhabi okay the capital of uae so uh, Uh, sheikh is there and then monarchy is there so monarchy also there are some which are like constitutional monarchy they have little bit federal uh, laws and all but others are just pure monarchy also okay then gcc supreme council is there which is the highest decision making body who will uh, set the vision and goals everyone will have same voting power unanimously they'll discuss something and then india's uh, importance india uh, imports 35 percentage of india's oil and 70 percentage of india's gas from gcc countries in which qatar is most important 41 percentage gas of india comes from qatar alone same like that number of people working there many many people are working in the middle east countries especially uae and their remittances 
15.40 billion dollars came in 2021 alone that is 18 percentage of the total invert remittance of india okay that is very huge from one country 18 percentage remittance is coming that is very very huge okay so this is about the uh, GCC's importance. Now, if you take G20 summit happened, this is the Hindu article. Okay, till now it was static. G20 summit happened that time Saudi Arabia and UAE, everybody were there, sorry, uh, USA was there and USA uh, proposed this India Middle East Economic Corridor in which actually it is India to West, uh, Middle East to Europe. There is no USA there, but still USA is doing this because that is going to help them counter China and Russia. Okay, counter China and Russia through this uh, economic corridor. So, shipping lanes, rail networks, everything will be done. But before that, one week before the G20 summit, USA, he went to here also. Biden went to meet Saudi Arabia person also. There his intention was to, me, uh, to make this three group uh, as a friend. Okay, that is Israel and Saudi. That is like, like Israel has problem with the Arab world. Okay, Arab world means all the Muslim countries. But still, now if you see, slowly, slowly, yesterday we discussed the Abraham Accords and yesterday's article we discussed Abraham Accords where Trump made Israel uh, have a friendship with UAE and Bahrain. Okay, so same thing. Now Biden is trying to do the continuation of Trump era policy and trying to make Israel as friend of Saudi as well because Saudi is the biggest player there. Okay, but Saudi Arabia has like uh, initially it was against it but now they are slowly slowly having secret meetings and little bit in recently in a meeting also he told that we will uh, open relationship with israel okay because the palestine problem if you uh, hold and stand you cannot go uh, grow in life okay because palestine is only about religion and only about muslims homeland there is no development there there is no technology there nothing is there so everybody are slowly slowly moving to israel's uh, friendship circle okay and usa is trying to uh, broker that okay as an agent so, as I told, uh, two, two, two part policy of Biden. First part is continuing the Trump era policy of bringing the Arab and Israel closer. Okay, so Abraham Accord we discussed yesterday, go and watch that. And again, initially Biden's stand was different. He was against Trump and all and he told Saudi Arabia is like the pariah, pariah that they are. That is, uh, he is an out, uh, Saudi Arabia is an outcast. You should not make friendship with them. It's not worth making friendship like that. Complete opposite now. Biden has come a long way because they are now reaching out to the kingdom, to the Saudi Arabia kingdom. So, complete turn in Biden's side, the policy of Biden is completely changed. Okay, so if this happens, Saudi Israel deal happens, it would transform the Arab Israel deals and USA can strengthen its uh, this thing, the military commitments in the, those areas. Okay, because everybody thinks that after USA exited from Afghanistan and all, USA's power is gone in the West Asia. This is what everybody uh, thinks that uh, USA is now, uh, because Trump told we don't want to waste money on our like militaries in Iraq and USA and sorry in Syria and everywhere. But now uh, they want to reassure, okay, Biden want to reassure America's friends like India, Indonesia and other people that we are not exiting West Asia. Okay, so now already you know 2022 India, Israel, USA, EU, everybody, okay, I2, U2, we discussed this in july 18th editorial in detail i2 u2 summit was there and then there also if you see who are the members usa uae israel okay which are the same people who are there in the abraham accord also so india's presence in that makes a very important uh, integration for india as well now the new india middle east economic corridor is also there announced in the g20 summit it will build again relation between india's western coast through the gulf that is uae and saudi then jordan israel mediterranean bringing india and europe closer okay so usa is hoping that this will increase their influence in west asia and usa don't want to exit this is what they are trying to uh, prove to the world okay that USA's uh, deprioritization of certain areas does not diminish the strategic value or potential of West Asia. Okay, now as the US is pivoting to East Asia, meaning now they are focusing on Indo-Pacific, all the ASEAN countries and all these things, China will see a vacuum. Okay, China will see a vacuum in West Asia and try to occupy there. That is what uh, US is trying to counter because China already is doing a lot of trade with West Asia, 70% of their oil import. It's the biggest trading partner, major investor doing the peacemaker role like Saudi and Iran which is the biggest rivals that even China went and mediated China mediated and made them as friends so that peacemaker role they are doing so that is what is now USA's uh, worry okay USA is in a dilemma that their deprioritization will may uh, cause bigger uh, challenges from Russia and China to them okay so now America's answer to them through these new things are that we will uh, with our allies strengthen the US security architecture bring India as a bigger stable partner because China is not reliable so that we will do more en engagement and also it is India's uh, good thing actually for India India seems willing to take this bet okay 
So now this slide is very important. Lot of uh, prelims facts are there, like the new West Asia. Okay, it is said it, it is to be seen how far the Biden plan would go. Okay, Biden plan is dependent completely on, as I told, the Saudi versus Israel deal. Okay, but so as I told, that deal is not improbable because Saudi person itself in an interview told that both sides are getting closer, but still there are some challenges, and so USA need to tighten its grip. Okay, it's now loosened its grip, and there is a security vacuum which China may occupy. So uh, Saudi should do something to come back to that area. Okay, and it's evident that, as I told, the Saudi is also understanding that we need the relationship to go to stable, become stable. Okay, that is why uh, with UAE and Iran and all, they are like doing more and more. Whatever rivalry was there, that they are ending. Qatar was blocked once from GCC. Now that Qatar is brought back, then Syria, they had an issue. That also they are doing reconciliation. So whatever Middle East problems are there, Saudi is solving it. Okay, Saudi is solving it. So now if Saudi goes in friendship with Israel also, then USA, it will be like very good for them. Also, BRICS you would have seen. In BRICS now recently, they added UAE and Iran got added to BRICS. So that also is showing that they want to expand. They want more reliable partners. Okay, so this might welcome America's diplomatic push or economic integration plan. But they again, they may not remain a client status, meaning they don't want to be a pet or something under USA. They want to have their own this thing. They don't want like Cold War time, like USA is one side, China is one side, and then or Russia is in one side, and we will just take sides. We want to be independent players. And so uh, Biden will try his best to do whatever he want, his engagement and everything. But problem is with Iran. Okay, Saudi Israel, maybe you will fix it. But Saudi Iran, uh, China, has tried brokering, but again problems may come. Okay, the rivalry between uh, not only that Iran versus Israel is also a problem. Okay, Saudi can become friends with Israel, but Iran becoming friends with Israel is not going to happen. So that problem, okay, that is what you are uh, going to deal with now. And that can have a spillover effect also. It can spread to more Arab countries taking the side of Iran. So uh, such a thing would destabilize the area. So America has to uh, be in power and then control things through India. Okay, so India, there are multiple avenues the USA China competition that is uh, providing India a good choice because India is having great economy, great skill labor. So every country wants to replace China with India. Okay. So now West Asia's geopolitics also India is going to welcome it. But again, author is telling India should not take sides again. It should be same like our uh, non alignment movement, which we had. We should not take any particular side or uh, appease any particular USA or particular Russia and all. We should be having the traditional balance. We should not upset that. Okay. The Middle East corridor we have that is fine. But we we also have something called the International North-South Transport Corridor, which with uh, Russia we are doing. Okay, this one, if you see, this is like going like this, India to Middle East to Europe, like this. Okay, but we have another line which is going straight up to Russia. Okay, that is the International North-South Transport Corridor, which again in this video I have explained. Okay, so that also we have. So we cannot disappoint Russia also. We cannot disappoint USA also. So we should take both hand in hand and that will do good for India. This is the overall West Asian article. Now, Alternate Dispute Resolution ADR, a very lengthy article, but I will try to uh, explain it very uh, simple way. Okay, so ADR, if you see, there are many, uh, basically the basic meaning you should know. Okay, ADR means you have traditionally when you have problems, you will go to court. Okay, it can be your local court, it can be high court, it can be Supreme Court, you will go to uh, different courts. But what if there is an alternate dispute resolution mechanism? Like we have National Green Tribunal for all the environment things. We have Lok Adalat now for uh, very basic issues and all. Even criminal issues they take, but very basic. So like that, there are different, different Adalat. So like that, different mechanisms we need. Okay, so that mechanisms is what we'll discuss. Before going to Hindu, I will teach you all the basics. Going away from the traditional thing or settling the uh, disputes outside is called ADR. And in India, we have arbitration, negotiation, mediation, Lok Adalat. So today's discussion is mediation, but I will teach you the other things also as part of your static teaching okay arbitration means you set up a tribunal a separate arti art, sorry arbitral tribunal which will uh, uh, decide for you two parties the issues and then will give you a binding agreement by bind, binding law by sorry binding outcome okay which you have to follow and it is less formal than the court trial okay little bit meaning court is the highest then there is this arbitrary trial okay so it's less formal and then generally there is no right to appeal because the, you only choose the arbitrator and so you will also listen to whatever they tell. Okay, so there's little scope for judicial intervention. This is called arbitration, a little formal, less formal thing than the court. Now next is the conciliation, which is little more lesser formal, formal than the uh, arbitration. Okay, where it is not binding. There is a third party, a conciliator. They will give you a mutually satisfying agree agreed settlement and you are free to accept it or reject it. Okay. So if both parties accept it, then there is, it is like binding. Okay. Meaning it is not like forcing on to you. They will discuss with you and both are happy means it is binding. So this is the conciliation. Then there is the negotiation. Here, there is no third party. 
okay without the intervention of any third party meaning you have seen like suppose the same i told uh, like india has a problem with canada you won't bring united nations in between or usa in between okay we will sit together and discuss okay so that is called negotiation so that can be between nations it can be for legal proceedings it can be for businesses it can be personal situations like marriage divorce parenting anything anywhere two people the problem people itself will sit and discuss that is called negotiation okay so this is the most common also of the alternate dispute mechanism so these three i taught you as an extra fact it is not there in today's hindu okay so now going back to the first slide mediation mediation if you take a timeline recent timeline okay there is right, since the 1950s i can take but recent one india became a signatory of singapore convention on mediation in 2019 okay but they have not ratified it meaning we have not implemented it but we have signed it that is again a uh, a mediation concept where cross border any problems are there any disputes are there between countries you can solve there is a protocol or there is a convention that we have signed 2020 in supreme court in this case uh, krishnamurthy versus new india assurance they pointed out the urgent need for enacting a uniform legislation for mediation in india 2022 the president the president while uh, attending this place the, uh, the national judicial conference on uh, mediation and information technology there was an event he president told that we should bring mediation quickly in our judicial process okay 2023 now the 2021 bill which is like two years going on finally it is passed in uh, rajya sabha and uh, lok sabha i think august uh, by 7th i think they passed it and now september 15th latest update is president has given assent and finally it is published in the uh, gazette of india and now a bill will become an act okay this basics if you don't know read the lakshmikant textbook you will know how a bill will become an act okay after lok sabha rajya sabha passes and president gives assent it becomes an act so now we will discuss this bill that is our uh, point of uh, the contention but before that again before going to hindu even hindu we won't discuss we will discuss the main bill itself from the direct prs website but mediation it will be theory you need to study it is a voluntary process in which an impartial and neutral mediator facilitates uh, disputing parties in reaching a settlement meaning it's kind of arbitrator only but little more you can tell softer kind of version okay so a mediator does not impose a solution but creates a conducive environment okay so mediation is tried and tested in many cities like in delhi ranchi jamshedpur nagpur chandigarh aurangabad and all so now they want to make it national so mediation is like a neutral person uses special communication skills and negotiation techniques and there will be a settlement process and disputing people will arrive at a mutually acceptable agreement okay same like if you can tell uh, arbitrator is there and that conciliation is there between that uh, another thing they are fitting okay mediation where very authorized this conciliation is like anyone can be the person who is the broker who is the between uh, agent okay but mediator will be like a qualified person that i will teach you now what are his qualifications okay he need to undergo 40 hours of training stipulated by the mediation and conciliation project committee of the supreme court I meaning there's a committee of supreme court from there 40 hours of training you have to do and at least 10 mediations that person should have settled before uh, getting into this uh, mediator council okay and at least 20 he should have attended at least if he settled or not 20 he should have been attended the 20 cases and 10 he should have settled okay so his features are he should be impartial and neutral manage the interaction facilitate the communication identify the barrier identify the interest develop the terms like this in exam hall you can use all this to get extra marks okay now what are the benefits and challenges benefits are you can res compare to courts okay compared to courts or other methods of uh, uh, dispute resolution you uh, can responsive economical there is no extra cost and all harmonious settlement because you are not fighting in case in public okay it's like a secret meeting so it will be like more good for people for both the parties it's confidential okay it is informal it is creating solutions for you it will improve the ease of doing business also if two companies or something has problem and you're mediating it in inside room uh, through a mediator it gets solved very easily your business will improve people will feel like investing more in your country okay then challenges are what currently till now we didn't have any loss okay we didn't have any experts we didn't have these many like training hours and all we didn't have professionalism then there is social stigma like two people are fighting and you go to court usually but now suppose you choose mediation so people will tell oh you are afraid to go to court you are like uh, uh, only want everything in secret settled so social stigma is there many people will feel like you are compromising mediation looks something very light okay so that is there then influence from the legal professional meaning when everybody start going to mediator the court meaning the vakils the advocate will get angry okay meaning he is not getting any case now so that also can happen so these are the challenges these are the mediation these are all extra static parts for you static points for you okay and legal wise if you see before our new act came new act 2023 we already have two legislative act the cpc 1908 and the 
uh, Arbitration and Conciliation Act 1996. Okay, so they are the current statutory provisions and there are many more statutes uh, where you discuss about mediation. Okay, like the Industrial Dispute Act, uh, Company Act, MSME Act, Hindu Marriage Act, Special Marriage Act, Real Estate Act, Commercial Court Act, Consumer Protection, everywhere some kind of mediation is mentioned. Okay, but mediation specific for the very first time we are having a uh, bill becoming an act now. Okay, so that in the PRS website where you go and see all your bills, you can see there as of now it's not updated. Uh, it is like it is telling. Uh, 22 it was in standing committee passed in Rajya Sabha passed in Lok Sabha after this a president will give assent that column is not actually updated in the PRS but actually in September 15 it has become an act hopefully in the few days you will see that also reflecting in the PRS website okay now if you read that okay all the coaching classes are making their notes from PRS website only so PRS if you read properly you will get all the information okay the bill requires persons to try to settle civil or commercial dispute okay civil or commercial disputes through mediation before approaching any court or tribunal okay meaning it's like kind of mandating you that you should go through mediation now and again the uh, party which goes to mediation at least two sessions okay mediation is not like one time meeting you will have first session second session third session or so court is telling at least two sessions you should try then only you should if you are not satisfied you go to the uh, court okay and again once you are doing this thing mediation suppose third session fourth session and all within 180 days you should try to come at a, a solution okay or maximum it can be extended by 180 more days meaning in 360 days you should solve your case okay that is the mediation that is the main highlight of the bill then mediation council of india a body will be set up okay it is in charge of everything registering the mediator recognizing the services mediation institutes training them certifying them everything is in charge is this body okay same like we have medical council of india bar council of india for advocates and all Med mediation council of india will be set up okay i will tell you all the details this is just highlights okay now the bill lists the disputes that are not fit for mediation like criminal prosecution then uh, example environment will be there that in the detail page we will see after some time but criminal prosecution will not be there okay and then central government can amend this bill meaning they can insert or delete any new case or anything which can be or cannot be done through mediation okay so if the parties agree they may appoint a person as a mediator if not there will be a panel of people as i told in the mci medical council of sorry mediation council of india from there you can choose anyone so agreements resulting from mediation will be binding and enforceable in the same manner as court judgment okay so once you do all this the this will be binding you cannot then uh, argue on that okay now, if you take little more details, the bill makes participation in pre-litigation medi mediation mandatory. This is the main thing, mandatory. Okay, at least two sessions you have to attend and try. So, mediation is a voluntary dispute resolution process. The question is whether it is appropriate to mandate the parties to attempt pre-litigation mediation. On one hand, this could lead to more out of the court settlement, reduce the pendency in the court, which is a good thing. But on the other hand, mandating goes against the voluntary nature. Okay, you are forcefully going, making them go there. So maybe simply for time pass, they'll attend the two sessions and then they'll come back to the court itself. So that the author or whoever has drafted the bill process problem, they are telling. Okay, then the mediation council, it is established for regulating this. And this is actually uh, uh, may not have the representation of practicing mediators. Okay, meaning very professional people it need, need not have. That means strict clauses are not written there. If you take the Bar Council of India, it is the registered proper advocates who are there part of it. Okay, but in mediation council, the clauses are not well defined. Okay, and also one very bad thing which is written is it requires the prior approval from the central government before issuing any regulation. So that it is not clear why such private recall is required okay because sometimes when the fight is happening between two bodies one of the body may be central government itself okay maybe it is some public institution maybe central government some uh, insurance company or some uh, ntpc or anything so how can you always get, take the permission of the center itself okay then the bill applies to international mediations also but only if it is conducted in india meaning some fight or some mechanism you are doing outside india then it is not eligible okay this bill doesn't apply for that this bill is only for uh, any mediation conducted within the boundaries of india okay within india so these are the highlights now in that same prs little bit theory about adr which we already discussed okay adr is something which you like disputes outside the traditional court settlement okay so we have what all arbitration negotiation mediation loka dalat many things are there and usually mediation is a voluntary process but now they are mandating it okay now 
mediator usually does not give any proper judgment they are setting up the environment a proper conducive environment they are giving you so that you can sit and talk and resolve the dispute okay so again uh, there is no strict binding rules on procedure and all it's a the final result may be binding but how you choose the mediator how you do that and all is not binding okay and as i told it's voluntary non advisor flexible confidential speed cost effectiveness all these things we have already discussed okay that is the benefit of reading static thing first before reading the uh, current affair okay and it will reduce the case burden on the courts now at present in mediation in india there is court referred mediation also there is private mediation also meaning the court itself will tell go and do the uh, this thing okay like civil i told you code of civil procedure 1908 go and uh, go, do mediation else private you yourself will uh, give a contract to someone any mediator and then it is through the commercial court act and the consumer protection act companies act anything you can do the uh, mediation privately okay then mediation services are provided by private adr centers as well as center same thing okay same thing they are repeating and that count in india there are 464 adr center 570 mediation center 16565 mediator and nearly 53000 cases are settled through them so this data this line is excellent you can use in your exam okay because a question is expected on explaining the mediation or the adr in general alternate dispute resolution these things you can use in both the answers in various countries this also you can use australia singapore italy they all have standalone law on mediation india did not have that is why we have passed this act in 2023 now okay the suggestion to enact a separate legislation governing mediation in india is uh, sorry in india has been made a number of occasions including as it also supreme court told president told high level committee told everybody has been telling since years okay and now the mediation bill is uh, promoting mediation particularly institution mediation and provides a mechanism and so this ref, uh, this thing is going to help us solve the mediation problems now each important feature they have given one one line like pre litigation mediation i told you that before approaching the court you will go there at least two sessions you have to attend dispute not fit for mediation okay meaning the crime against minor person or unsound, unsound full mind then uh, criminal prosecution then even environment i think it's there because for that already ngt is there okay like that these things are not fit for mediation under this bill okay and then applicability any domestic parties are involved it is applicable at least one foreign party is involved it is applicable and uh, mediation is like uh, agreement that states mediation will be as per this bill if the center or state government is a party the bill will apply to commercial disputes and other disputes as notified by again by whom by again by central government then the mediation process i told you 180 days and you can extend it to 180 days okay and the party may withdraw from mediation after two sessions court the next mediation must be conducted as per the rules framed by the supreme court or high court okay when if court is referring to mediation they will give you some rules also you have to follow mediator i told you that that must training you have to do they should be independent they should be neutral that kind of things okay about mediator then Medi mediation council of india which again the government will establish it will have a chairman okay total i think seven members it will have chairman two full time members three ex officio members which are including law secretary and expenditure secretary then a part time member from an industry body okay functions i told you registering certifying all the things related to uh, mediator is done by mediation council of india mediation settlement agreement okay final binding enforceable in the same manner as court judgment okay they may be challenged on grounds of fraud corruption impersonation or relating to dispute not fit for the mediation if any of this is there you can appeal for it okay then community mediation this is something which is not very clearly defined in this okay even a uh, blocks i was checking there are blocks written community mediation has not been clearly defined in the bill okay what it actually refers to they have written uh, one line here i will show you community mediation may be attempted to resolve disputes like Uh, likely to act, uh, affect the peace and harmony among the residents of a locality meaning some community is there okay maybe some maybe hindu muslim fight or maybe some high caste low caste fight or maybe environment related they both are fighting for something in their locality or in your apartment so something like that the community welfare as resident welfare association such people are involved that thing uh, is uh, coming under community mediation okay so that is one extra thing which usually is not there in our earlier discussions of bills and all now mediation these are all again repeat okay this you can pause and read or again i want you to go as a homework you have to go and read the prs website okay because this is how you learn everything don't believe the coaching materials because they will skip 90% of this they will take only important four five points and make it like a small crisp thing but that will not be enough when you have to write a mains question you have to write lot of things okay so here they are telling mediation is cost effective helps to reduce the courts thing and then here niti ayog from 2021 uh, uh, report kind of thing they are telling that the compulsory mediation which you are telling 
up to a few sessions like two sessions has been successful in Italy, Brazil and Turkey. Okay. And other countries like Australia and England statutorily mandate mediation for certain dispute or allow courts to order mediation. So in other countries, it's already tried and tested. Niti Ayog has pointed out that is why it is included in the bill. Okay. Now, uh, on the other hand, mandating participation in mediation is contrary to its voluntary nature. Okay. Like many people, as I told, two sessions they'll attend and they will just go to the other thing. So I think some cost will be imposed on them like that if you uh, uh, first start mediation and then go to the court. Okay. It's not, not important that clause and all you don't have to worry. The Niti Aayog again told the same thing. Mandatory period in India must be planned keeping in mind the number of mediators available and ecosystem availability to a large number of mediators. Okay. Today I did not prepare PPT because I wanted you to read between the lines. I wanted to read this thing for you. Okay. You can read yourself also, but again, when I do this once and then you go home and do, it will look much more easier for you. Now, the same thing they are repeating Medical Council of India detail they have given and then does not require representation. Like I told there will be many people who are not uh, proper mediators still uh, may be available in the council or maybe they are not available in the council. So such problems and all you have to settle because we have this other uh, things, right? We have the Charter Act Association, the Doctors Association, the Lawyer Association, there and all it will be always uh, uh, professionals only. Okay. So that thing you have to take care. That is again suggestion by the uh, author. Okay. Requiring central government approval, as I told, central government itself might be a party and then you are asking every time permission. That is not correct. Okay. If you take the other things like National Medical Council and the Bar Council, no such previous approval for issues of rules and regulation is mandated. Okay. And in other hand, institutes of chartered account of India and the institute of company secretary of India are subject to approval of the central government. So these two, there is approval required and the medical and the bar council, there is no approval required. Okay. And this approval required is what is given for the new one also mediation council of India. Okay. So you can compare this and write if you want to uh, tell anything about this in the exam. Then international when I told you only when it is conducted within India, it will be done else it is not done. And Singapore convention, which we have signed right in 2019, that allows for cross border one, not only within the country, outside the country also. So why did we sign this? If we sign this, we should then ratify it also and we should follow that. But we have in turn told only within India, we will settle through this bill. Okay. And then mediators conducting pre-litigation mediation require four registrations, meaning multiple registrations you have to do with the Mediation Council of India, then a court annexed mediation center, then a mediation service provider, then a legal service authority in the nation or state. So this much registration is required that again author is asking why this much uh, uh, multiple four registrations is to be done. What is the point of that? Okay. So that is also one more concern. So whenever you have to criticize the bill, if UPSC ask you like uh, how far is the mediation act uh, 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 drafted well or how it is going to change the this thing of India or uh, it is not uh, meeting the expectations, anything they ask, you can read the negative points. That is why I gave you. Okay. In Hindu, they have written a lot of like potential benefits are there and the same things the courts uh, pendency will reduce uh, and uh, this mandating is not good like that some things in the hindu they have mentioned overall they are telling create a balanced framework which encourages the party to focus more on the commercial dealing and less on the disputes okay else i didn't find much interesting points and all everything from the prs only he, he has written and he is telling a comparison between mediation and arbitration he is telling the bill is like almost drafted the same way. Whatever they wrote there, that only they have written here. Both piece of legislation has having stringent timeline, the conduct of proceedings, mandate confidentially, obligate Indian courts to refer to the parties of uh, parties to mediation, provide a default mechanism, prescribe the procedure for the termination, appointment of mediator or arbitrator, meaning whatever they drafted in the arbitrator act, that same thing they have kind of copied and written the medi uh, medi uh, this uh, mediation act also. Okay. And also the mediation council of India is same way like the arbitration council of India, which is yet to be implemented in India. Okay. So like that we have done a similar drafting and parliament's message to Indian industry is clear in commercial matters. Don't go to court. Okay. Do an alternate dispute resolution mechanism and pro mostly through mediation itself. Okay. Mediation is what they are suggesting. So while the doors of Indian courts are always open, it must be perceived that it is like last resort. Finally, only you should go to the court after trying all this because we want to reduce the burden on the Indian courts. 
And so final key parallel emerges, meaning same thing, arbitrator, mediation, they're telling almost the same thing is drafted. And so institutional things will help us solve all these issues. And the mediation service pro provider is synonymous with the arbitration institution. India is already home to good arbitration institutions. Now same thing we should do in mediation also so that we match the global standards. Okay. And it's expected to play a meaningful role in India's mediation journey. India become a global hub, not only in arbitration, but all aspects of commercial dispute resolution, like a way forward. That is what he's telling. Okay. So it was little uh, like reading out kind of thing. I know that, but we have done it on purpose because usually I make slides for this, but this one, I wanted you to see the PRS website. Okay. Now again, come and contact me in WhatsApp because I want you to be parts of part of this uh, 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 channel which we have created and then there are test series which as I told again you can come on whatsapp for enrollment and tell me in comment section whether these sessions are helping you because based on your feedback only we can make changes and do the improvements okay so follow us on whatsapp and instagram thank you and have a nice day